Hey there. Welcome to Learn OpenCV. In this video, let's check out OpenCV tools and AI assisted annotation. CVAT Online employs OpenCV tools and AI assistant to ease the annotation process. The available OpenCV tools are intelligent scissors, histogram equalization and MIL tracker. Head to the OpenCV icon on the controls toolbar. Wait for the library to load. Under drawing, you'll find intelligent scissors. These are used to create polygon annotations. Select the label and click on the scissor icon. Then click on the starting point and traverse the edge of the object. OpenCV will create the edges automatically. Ensure the previous point does not leave the restrictive threshold bounding box before creating the next point. When the contrast is off in the images, use OpenCV's histogram equalization to grasp the object better. Objects can be tracked in the video using OpenCV's MIL tracker. Under the tracking tab, select label, click on track and create a bounding box around the object. Now go to the next frame or press F. OpenCV will track the object in this frame. Continue to the next frame till the object needs to be tracked. Although the OpenCV tools relieve us, they are prone to failures. Intelligent scissors fail when the background and the foreground colors are similar. And instead of histogram equalization, change the color settings globally. And Tracker MIL does not resize the bounding box. If the object size is variable in the video, get ready to keep altering the bounding boxes. Moreover, if another object crosses over the object being tracked, MIL will track the new object. AI models on CVAT will help you create polygon annotations or masks, accurately localize the objects in the frame and track the objects in a video sequence. Currently, CVAT is withdrawing the EI models from its web app. So it's best to deploy CVAT and the models locally on a GPU-based server to access the complete functionality of AI-assisted tools. Hover over the WAND tool. Let's first understand interactors or polygon mask. Activate the convert mask to polygon switch if you strictly want to output polygons. Some models may output segmentation mask. Select the label and the model. Click on the question mark to learn more about the model or click on the interact button to start annotating. HRNet requires positive and negative points. Press and hold control to stop multiple server requests. Left click on the most relevant point of the object. Next, right click the most relevant point of the background. Once the important points are marked, let go of the control button. This will send a request to the CVAT server. Server requests can take some time and might return an error, but the outputs are generally excellent. By changing the number of points, the annotation precision can be increased or decreased. Many state-of-the-art detection models like YOLO v5 are available for object detection. Under the Detectors tab, select the model, then match the model labels with the task labels. For example, car annotations can be mapped to the task label vehicle. Once all the labels are mapped, click on Annotate. Currently, trackers are not available on the free version of CVAT. Given on the screen are all the models deployable on CVAT, or you can deploy your models. Major drawbacks of AI-based annotation are the failed server responses, the unavailability of AI models, and the inability to auto-annotate the task in its entirety. So that's all about the OpenCV tools and AI-assisted annotation in CVAT. If you like this video, check out our series on CVAT, where we learn how to annotate image and video datasets, export it to various formats, Use OpenCV and AI-based tools for automation and deploy CVAT locally. Do comment on what you would like to see next 
and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching until next time